you guys want to see something rare for southwest New Mexico. So it's been raining a lot lately. And now we have those. They're little uh, sunflower imposter sunflower things. I don't really know what they are, but they look like tiny sunflowers, but they're not that tiny. Anyways, I saw this spot yesterday uh, while we were mountain biking over there in those mountains somewhere. And we drove past all here. So I figure we're gonna do a photo shoot in here. And I'm gonna talk to you guys about some important stuff concerning uh, color theory. And Tristan's gonna hold lights for me. I'm gonna use the drift method. Freaking incredible. Ground F-16 for that to get that sunburst. So they look pretty, you know, out there. They, they look cool and all, but when you're standing, oh shit. <laughs> when you're standing in these, these are goat heads and they're really spiky. And that is an entire uh, colony of them. Yeah. <laughs> This is what you do for the photo shoots, I guess. Uh, we're gonna try to sneak, I'm gonna try to clear a path because Brittany's got, uh, she's gotta change in outfits and stuff. And this is intense. All right, let's keep going. All right, so we made it to our spot. This is as far as we wanna go with all of this deathy goat headiness. But uh, we've got Brittany here and this is just what she was wearing today. So this is what I wanna talk about, the importance of color theory and wardrobes. So you'll notice we have all of these beautiful yellows and we don't really have a blue sky right now so that's gonna work to our advantage. Let's go back to the car real quick because we're gonna have Brittany change and I'm gonna show you guys something on my handy dandy little color wheel. So uh, let's see if I can get back there without having a whole bunch of goat heads. <laughs> yeah, she's the one in shorts. All right, so it's all fine and dandy if you don't have time and it's unplanned for doing photo shoots, like with whatever you have and everything. But I want to talk a little bit more about planning and doing that kind of stuff. And part of planning is like, like I said, I saw this yesterday and then I kind of started to think about shots that I wanted. So one thing that really helps me uh, as uh, from a, as a background in like traditional art and painting and drawing and all that, I uh, I was raised with one of these, so that's a color wheel, and uh, color wheels are very helpful because a lot of people these days don't know too much about art and drawing and painting and light and just traditional art principles and all that stuff, and color is super important. So I know that these things are super yellow and. I know that I want Brittany out in them and all that. So what I wanna do is I wanna look on here on my color chart and I wanna look at yellow and I wanna see the complementary colors, which is violet. Uh, and then I wanna look at the shades of yellow and I can, these ones are a little bit more orangish yellow and I can look down there to the orangish yellow and you can see, and you can see that they're a little more blue violet. So, you can also see, those are complementary colors. Right here, you can see uh, the complementary colors, and then you can see the triads and the tetrads. And those are really handy if you don't have an exact complementary colors. You can still find a color that'll match and stand out a little better because the whole point of color theory and everything is one, to make it look good, so colors that are naturally pleasing, and two, to add contrast, because a lot of people forget that another way of adding contrast is through color, and that's through your complementary colors. All right, so we're kind of getting a little rained out here, so I'm gonna wrap it up. And uh, like I say, usually every Friday when I do this, hopefully we kept it under five minutes for the five minute Friday. But uh, this was kind of a pre-shoot location scout shoot anyways. Uh, but I did, I did pull the flash out and I did get the trouble of having Brittany change and all that stuff. I just wanted to make sure you guys are aware of uh, thinking about color and thinking about those complementary colors and thinking about how colors can help create contrast and all that stuff. So if I got any good images from this, I'll put them up now. And uh, hopefully that'll help you guys up your creativity and get those great shots. So if you like this stuff and you wanna see more, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I've got new videos every Tuesday and Friday. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.